So here we go. All right, so this is Bible Hub here, and um, I think it's I think it's on it's on your it's on it's in the cloud resource tool. Yes. And so this is actually really easy to also search commentary. So but I'll just go to the to our passage that that we're doing Romans 1 16. I'll change this to 1 Yeah, 116. Okay. 116. Can I do 2? Okay. And then if you look here there's a lot of different down here there's a lot of different translations there's cross references which is really helpful and then there's if you come back up here you can also do commentary so if you look here there is a bunch of good commentaries you have pulpit commentary people's new testament you have the matthew henry full you have um iccnt this is an excellent commentary this is a uh, this is the top scho a top scholarly commentary. Some of it might be a little liberal. You have to be careful. But here, let me just I'll read through the best commentaries to look at. You can maybe write them down. Barnes notes. Definitely look into Barnes notes. That, that it will, it will have some good information. So Barnes notes. This one at the top here, you can see it highlighted. Uh, Calvin's commentaries, excellent. We, we, I, I've already shared that with you, Calvin, uh, Calvin's commentaries. Let me see this Cambridge. So Cambridge is probably going to have really good observations concerning the text. It might be a little more liberal. So I don't know if you read in the introduction if they accepted Solomon as the author. Did you see that yet? I'm no, guessing. they did not. <laughs> so actually, Pastor, that's, that is one of my, uh, what I wanted to discuss with you. But maybe I would just message it to you. <laughs> no, I, yeah, we can talk about that. We could talk about that after this. But um, yes. yeah, so, so th th this is my caveat. Some of these commentaries, you do have to use a critical eye so they're they're not going to take a very high view of scripture they're going to to take now there are some there are some evangelical scholars that would not they would say that that it was a later editor that edited ecclesiastes so mm -hmm. um as long as uh, provided they're really provided they're really um what's the word um i'm just muting you because there's a little bit of feedback Provided that they have good, they have good observations, and they're not too liberal, they can be they can be a benefit. So you know, I don't want to. You just have to be I'll exercise caution. Yeah. So, but so so Cambridge would be a good resource. Just just use it cautiously. Expositors Bible. This will be a great. This is a great one. This is a, a good resource. So Expositor's Bible Commentary, definitely recommend that. So right there you have one, two, three, Expositor's is four. And then coming down here, Expositor's Greek, that's actually going to be that nickel that I, that I told you about before. It should be, it should be the Roger Nickel, I think. Um, let me see down here. Yeah, so it's going to include Greek. Now you might no, not know Greek, but typically like here, they're, they're using Greek and English. So for example, here, if you can see, it's, it's a huiotheu, which is son of God. So sometimes they'll give you the translation, but this will be a good, this will be a good additional resource. I definitely would recommend this. So just coming back here, expositors Bible and also expositors Greek. I would definitely look into. Now, this might not be for the Old Testament, Kaya. So that's the one caveat. This might only be New Testament. The Expositor's Greek will only be New Testament. Um, Expositor's Bible should be both. Uh, also, this uh, ICCNT, as I mentioned before, will be very good. Will be very good. I would definitely write that down. Uh, J Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown. Let me just. Okay, I'm not so familiar with that one. So it, it, it looks good. It looks good. So this one here, this, this, um, where is it? This one looks good. I just, I, I, I couldn't, I, I could not, I could not, you'd have to look into it yourself. And then we have down here, of course, Matthew Henry will be good. It's, it's, it's conservative. It'll be good. 
People's New Testament will probably be good, and also Pulpit Commentary. So People's New Testament and Pulpit Commentary, definitely check those out. So People's New Testament and Pulpit Commentary. And this is really nice here. You don't have the book format. It's just, this is really good for getting quick information. This will be really good. So, yeah, so they have a lot of different, so those will be the big ones. And there's other ones that will be good too. But those are, those would be the, the, let's see this Geneva study Bible. This Geneva study Bible will also be good. This one will also be good here. So def, I would definitely also recommend this Geneva study Bible. Uh, Geneva, yeah, so it, it's within the commentaries, correct. It's right here uh, within commentary, yeah. Yeah, and they have, a, they have, a, yes, they have a lot of different versions here. So this is also a really good uh, website to, to be using, to be researching. Let me see here. Let's, let's just go to Ecclesiastes and see what, 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 will, what will come up for Ecclesiastes. Okay. Okay. So Old Testament has, so let's, let's go now to Old Testament. So this, it's different now. This is good. So Barnes notes Old Testament. So we were looking at New Testament. Okay. So now we're in Old Testament. It's a, it's, it's a different set. So I would definitely write, this is for you. Uh, um, the Barnes notes, the Cambridge is still there. Expositors Bible, but there's no Greek because they don't have one for the Old Testament. Geneva study Bible. And then coming down here, this Kiel and, and, uh, this Kiel, I'm going to butcher this name, but Kiel and uh, Delic, 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 <laughs> I, I'm not really sure how to say that. This will be also more liberal, so it, it will be a little hard to read because they're 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 using a lot of uh, they're using a lot of Hebrew, but but I think this will have some good information as well. This will have some good information as well. So just read it with a critical eye, because maybe some things that we would not agree with uh, Gill's Bible exposition. That will be, that will be good. Gill is a good author. He's a good conservative. So if they have Gill in the new Testament, Kuya Danny, what's your passage, Kuya Danny? Uh, I, mine is uh, second Corinthians 4, okay. 16 to 18. Okay, good. So, so Gill, if they have Gill for yours, I would look into Gill as well. Uh, excuse me, Tim. That's that's uh, aside from the Romans, the assignment that you gave us, Romans 16 to. Diba, we were given also assignment for reading Romans 16. No, so the assignment would be you need to be working on your background study for your passage. Okay, the one yeah. that we chose. Yeah, the one that you chose. I'm gonna I'm gonna send out a, a copy maybe tonight, some ex or tonight or tomorrow, some examples. I'm behind. I'm sorry. I said I was going to send stuff out on Wednesday, and uh, it hasn't happened yet. The videos are edited, so I, I think the other video is, is finally posted. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you also, because I'm also overwhelmed with other tasks uh, aside of this. Uh, it's good you gave us a leeway. Um, uh, uh, moratorium, sort of. Because yeah, no, because, so just to be clear, at least for me in the U.S., some some professors had a weekly assignment, and then others it was just everything was due at the end of the semester. So I'm having the weekly assignments because I want you to stay on top. Because what will happen is at the end, die out. But I I'm not being really strict because we're still making adjustments. So uh, the goal is to get on that uh, like a weekly schedule, but but there's there's a, a, an adjustment. So yeah, so I understand. We're all adjusting. So. Okay. So, uh, just to be clear, uh, in, in my case, uh, my understanding is, so we can start working on our uh, chosen uh, passages already. Yeah, all your assignments should now be focused on the assignments I'm giving, so like your prayer and your, 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 your with reference to, to salvation history, that's all now your passage, your focus on your passage. I'm doing an example in class, and then you're you're just trying to follow the pattern, yeah. Okay, so we'll not be using Romans, uh, uh, the one that you gave us before. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. The, the okay. only yeah, the only exception was Bull Boy because Bull Boy's doing Romans eight, I think eight thirty seven. 
So there's some overlap, but I told him he has to, I wanted original, he has to do his own work. So, okay. yeah, good. Because actually, uh, puzzle team, uh, in, in our case, I, in my life group, we're using Book of Romance. Ah, uh, okay. From last year, pa, with my, I have a yeah. friend, Pastor, Pastor Mike Eba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Romance 1, 2, now we're on Romans 9. So I feel uh, just to have uh, my own uh, uh, research work, I, I'm not using romance. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, I'm using <clears throat> Second Corinthians already. Good. 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 Okay. Cool. Cool. So this was the big thing I wanted to share uh, for research. Um, yeah. So any any comments or any questions anything you need help on have you been able to look in introductions to find like that background information have you have you practiced or not yet yes sorry yes, too, i have not really started yet i'm overwhelmed already with the previous assignment so it's okay i was about to call you earlier where how where do i begin now i'm clarified <laughs> that uh, i have to do my my chosen uh uh, Bible uh, verse. So that's it. I will start working on it. Good, 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 good. So, Kaya, you've you've started. You've already started. Yes, Pastor. Actually, uh, I've read them. I think it's expositors. And okay. Actually, but <clears throat> because I'm having difficulties in reading the commentaries, there most of them are in old English, especially. Hard. It's hard to read. Okay. I yeah, it's a bit hard for me. So I had to like uh, chew each word. Yeah. So, oh, I've been uh, the same, uh, what do you call this, commentaries that, that I submitted to you in my yeah. previous homework. I'm yeah. actually, it, I research really under Ecclesiastes because I was thinking if I'm going to research on something, I have to research something that, is, that yeah. I could use next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to download it. So, um, I had this, uh, what do you call this, um, Barton. Okay, Barton. Okay. Yes, I, I had uh, the ones uh, by Barton, and although, yeah, I am having difficulties in reading it, uh, but I already started the ones I've been telling you, the Cambridge. Okay. And, yeah, uh, that, that, is the, that is the problem, because they were saying that it's not Solomon. Yeah. Solomon, because uh, w there was this description of was king. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, so, uh, but I haven't really, uh, what do you call this, studied it that yeah. well yet. So, so I'll give just a brief, I'll give a okay. brief explanation from a conservative perspective. So, so, so explicitly in, in this, in this, let's just go maybe to Ecclesiastes 1. Ecclesiastes 1. Uh, this one, Pastor, the Cambridge Bible for schools. Yeah, yeah, uh, so yeah. I, yeah. So, so like the first verse, the words of the preacher, the son of David, king of Jerusalem. So, you know, that's pretty clear who's, who is, who it is. It's Solomon, right? So yes, yes. There, there's one, there's one example. Another, another one is verse 12. I, the preacher have been king over Israel in Jerusalem. I applied my heart to seek wisdom. All was done. So again, I mean, this here is just, this is Solomon. There's no one else. There's no other king that really pursued wisdom. Solomon is the greatest, most wise, the wisest king. So then when you have those, you have other examples where it seems to be like referring to him in the third person. So you do have that throughout the Old Testament. And so even conservative, like for me, I would say there's nothing wrong with, with understanding that Solomon wrote the book, but as people copied it, at, you know, they're, they're, they would update or they would maybe add something because again, the scripture is not closed. This is part of the working of the Holy spirit until it reached its final form. So our conservative perspective would say that the bulk, the content, the, the, the intent, the major content that Solomon it's, 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 it's his words that he's written to us through power of the Holy Spirit, there has been editors from the centuries that maybe have updated very minor parts uh, for, for um, 
uh, various reasons, not to discredit the text, but to, to update it, just like we would do that today. And then th there is a point where it reached final form, and then the work of the Holy Spirit closed that. And so we, we don't know all of those other, we don't have those commentaries of, of what was happening. That's something we take by faith. But we, but we take the word, so when, when, when the author says, you know, he, he calls himself the son of David Jerusalem, when he says, you know, I'm a preacher, the king over all, we're, we're taking the scripture at its word. Yeah. So that, that would be a conservative perspective. Um, See, uh, Pastor, because there was, um, because I've been reading it, right? So I, I, I read, because I was trying to debate with the, with what is written because I was thinking also the same thing like it was written by Solomon so how come this why is it that this one tells it it's not and, yeah. uh, one 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 uh, what do you call this he stated that the term used that I was king yeah so um, it's some kind uh, it defines like um, he was king but it means was the term was so yeah. he was he fell out from being king while well, Solomon he died yeah. He was still a king. Yeah. And yeah. another argument is that um, here, I have acquired great wisdom surpassing all who were over Jerusalem before me. And then there was only David. Yeah. They were explaining that how come um, all who were over. Yeah. So th they, were, they were telling that, um, I mean, the, the statement here, they described it as it could have been a lot more yeah uh kings before him so th there that that was there <laughs> no and 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 to be honest with you you can you can read it that way or you can say jerusalem was a city that existed for a long time and yes and 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 so what, what, really when it comes to the text do we come to the text uh do we come to, do we come to the text in faith or doubt and and so someone who comes to the text with doubt looks at all looks at all of the apparent inconsistencies and says ha this is just a human document this is not the original author someone who comes to the scripture with faith says no you know we don't have enough information unless there's a clear just overt uh fallacy that can be strongly disproven we take it by faith yeah i see i see Okay, at least I, it's clearer now, Pastor. Yeah, no. that, that was, uh, I was really having this debate inside my yeah. mind regarding this. And yeah. and the other it, thing you cleared about the Cambridge yeah. Bible for school. So I have to be careful with. Yeah, you do. But but here's something else too. There are there are some scholars who would not take, that would, that would not, they would say, no, it was someone who assumed the persona of Solomon and is writing as if he was Solomon, but he isn't. And they would still say that the message is inspired. God inspired that message, even though it wasn't Solomon, because he's assuming Solomon's persona. That, that's what a, other scholar, evangelical scholars would say that still have a high view of Scripture. So there's really variations. But again, I would say, you know, from my perspective, I, this is my perspective when I go to all the Scripture. I take Scripture at its word. And I allow for the fact that you could have men that care deeply about the word of God that were, were editors and, and scribes that would maintain the text. And so, you know, um, yeah, that, that's, that's my perspective. And, and it to, yeah, it's, it is a journey that all of us need to take because there are some, there are some potential, it could appear to be inconsistencies and, and we need to also think about that critically to have an answer, especially okay. for our children, yeah. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Any other questions or comments? Um, I don't want to belabor this. This, I, I think it's, you know, I think you guys are, are, are tracking. And, and my main desire for this research was to help people answer people's questions to show some, to show some direction here. Okay, I think I think we're good. Danny, are you okay? You seem to be okay, right? All right, so so we don't have to meet for an hour. I, I just want to be checking in with the students to make sure that you guys are are still alive. You're still swimming. <laughs> Thank you.
I'll yes, call thank you, you so when much. I have problem, okay? Yeah. I'll follow the format that you gave. Good. So, uh, so we have plenty of time to work on it. So I, yeah. I'm now more fun, more relaxed. Yeah. So I'll be but, I start working on it. The the pressure has been uh, removed. <laughs> so, <laughs> Actually, I'm overwhelmed uh, because it so happened uh, there was some, uh, some uh, tasks has to be um, done uh, on top of what I'm doing. I, I was thinking I will not be busy, but now I'm overwhelmed with. But anyway, this the things that I'm doing my my work are uh, will be over soon. But there are some challenges, so I need to attend to them first. No, it, it's okay. It's a, I understand, and and we'll we'll work through it and just take. To be honest with you, just one assignment at a time. I have to get this assignment done. Okay, I gotta get this assignment done. Okay, just one at a time. Don't, you know, even for me, I'm behind on the grading. I'm behind on the grading. Okay. And it's, but, but it's, but, but because there's so much additional stuff to do. And, and for my, as well, just one, for each of us, just one adjustment at a, at a time. So, hi, Ati Milagros. We're, we're we're finishing up now. How are you? Good evening, Pastor. Good afternoon. It's good to uh, see you. Yes, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me here. <laughs> no problem. We're we just finished. <laughs> 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 but but Ati Milagros, do do you have access? Are you watching the videos on YouTube? Do you have access to those videos? Have you watched any of them? Yes, I watched this morning. Good. Okay. So maybe tomorrow or Monday we will post this and then you can watch it at your leisure. I just was answering some questions and then also showing a new resource that the students can use. So uh, just watch the video. It will be very, very easy and self explanatory. It'll be easy. Yes. Thank you so much. No Mr. problem. Tim. Thanks. Thanks for, for joining us. So, Pastor Tim, I have a yeah. question. Um, for homework number four, are, yeah. is it uh, the background study? Are we going to submit it uh, this coming Tuesday, or? No, I'm going to. What I'll do is because we're also going be going to be doing um, uh, the location of your text. So I'm going to have assignment four and five turned in in two weeks. So I do want you to be working on it, but it will not be due. Um, so. Two weeks from now, you'll 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 turn in two assignments. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, what is that assignment, Pastor Tim? Well, so the <laughs> the background study is due next week, and then the following week there'll be new content from Wednesday, and so you'll just I'm I'm just pushing back the background a, a week, but I want you to be working on it now. I'm just not making it due, so you have time because really my purpose. My purpose is for you to be practicing and then you'll have a question and then that's why we can meet. That, that's kind of my thinking on Saturday. So as you do the assignments, you can, because to be honest with you, people will not do it till Monday <laughs> or Tuesday. So then I want, I want, I was going to push it back so that by the time they do it, they have a question. Okay. Then we can meet on Saturday like that. So that's kind of the, the thinking behind that. So, yeah, so we'll have two assignments due the following week. So this website here, Pastor Henry Atimalagros, Bible Hub, is, is an excellent resource with all the commentaries. So Pastor Henry, you're doing you're doing James, correct? Okay, so I'll just show you. So you, go, you would go to BibleHub.com. You're going to click in here, uh, James. You'll do James and then James 1. And then so now uh, there's a lot of different versions here that you have all the different Bible versions that you would need. But the benefit is the commentaries. So these are the commentaries. I went through, Pastor Henry, the really good commentaries that you should be considering. So uh, Barnes is really good. Calvin. Uh, Cambridge. Expositor's Bible, um, but but Pastor Henry, I, I'm gonna when I post the video, you can just watch the video if, if you want. Yeah, because we we just talk through the caveats and the things, so it's it's gonna take a little bit of time. But your pulpit commentary is here. 
It's here. Boom. Right there. Pulpit commentary. Just one click. One click. It's here. Okay, so it is here. Bible Hub, the first software. There we go. Boom. I did not really promote it because I actually didn't know how powerful it was until I went there. <laughs> Goodness. So Bible Hub's really good too. Let me let me let me uh let me also go, let, let's let's take a look at let's let, let's take a look at Step Bible. Let's take a look at Step Bible. I think they have some good commentaries here too. Let's go to so Step Bible is here. I'll show you how to use it. So Step Bible is here, and then we're going to go to. I'm just I just click, I click in the spot here, and then it says you can pick a Bible commentary. So you're going to click here. So I'll just X this out. Let's do uh let's do J uh. Let's just see what commentaries we have first. So I'm going to pick a commentary. So here, Bibles, commentary. So um, I think Alford is good. Barnes Notes, uh, Geneva Bible Translation Notes. There's the same. Jameson, Fawcett, Brown, Keel, and D Delick. I can't say that. Lightfoot, Luther, Matthew Henry, People, Peoples. Yeah, so this also has some good as well. This also it doesn't have everything, but it has some good. So let's go to, let's look at, um, okay, yeah, so there's some good notes here. So, yes, yeah, so you can also use Step Bible. Bible Hub has more, but you can also use Step Bible as well. And you can adjust here for, okay, yeah, so they, they've moved it over. There's different ways to set this up here, so it's good. Any questions or comments? None so far, Pastor. Okay, I think it's self-explanatory. So, it's already two fifty-five. Let's let's call this a a day.